Now I'd like to imagine that you've been doing some shooting with a rifle and when you get your targets back this is what you see. Now on the left hand side here what we have is a very small grouping size so that means uh, the spread of shots is very small and this is a very precise bit of shooting. On the right hand side however the grouping size is a lot larger but the mean point of impact, the average position where these rounds land is dead on the center of the target and over here we have some accurate shooting whereas over here the shooting is precise. Now following on from those definitions, on the left hand here, what we have is a very, very large group size and this means the shooting isn't very precise. Also, the average position where these rounds land is quite a way away from the centre of the target, so it's not accurate. What we're really aiming for when we're shooting is something to be both precise and have a very small group size like we have here and also accurate and be on target uh, at the very centre of that target. And it's these words here, accuracy and precision, which I'd like to have a look at now. So to try and summarise that uh, as briefly as possible, an accurate result uh, when you're doing uh, an experiment is how close a result is to the true value, whereas precise results relate to how closely the repeated results are to one another. And it doesn't really matter if these, are, if these precise results aren't accurate, uh, precision is completely separate to accuracy. But there are a couple of other words that we need to think about. First of all, errors. Now errors are inherent in any experimental procedure when you have to measure something and it's really the difference between an individual result and the true value. And this is something that we try to minimise perhaps by uh, thinking about the way we set up our experiment and the measuring instruments that we do use. But what we have is when we have an error between the measured value and the true value, what we then introduce is an uncertainty. Now this uncertainty is really just an estimate of the range of values within which the true value lies for a measurement. And again, uh, the smaller the uncertainty means that we have a smaller error and therefore hopefully our results are more accurate. And I'd really like to talk about uncertainties in a lot more detail in the next few videos.